Do you have any questions, brothers, over there? Any clarifications or anything? Sure. I want to know more. Uh, um, um, now, what you can do, there's a book I've been told by Dr. Jabal. It's called Ibrahim, a nation in one man. So if you can get that book, I've not seen it myself, but I know it exists. And that would be very good. Uh, how would you convince, convince non-Muslims that uh, it's, uh, it's Ishmael uh, or Ismail instead of uh, Isaac who is supposed to be sacrificed? The way I say to them is that this is the Quran. Our Quran says this, but with a non-Muslim, I wouldn't really ponder too much on these type of questions. That it should be it was Ismail, not his heart, um, because they are believing what's in their Bible and their, what they've been taught. We believe what's in our Quran. Rather, I would bring the conversation back to Tawheed, to the oneness of Allah, and make them understand that three God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit cannot all be one. Jesus, who died on the cross, cannot be God. You know, who when he was when he died for the three days before he was resurrected who was running the world, etc. I, I would bring all these different arguments to convince them that Christianity is not the true religion of God, and there are flaws in the Bibles, in the very as uh, message of Tawheed, of, of one of God, <coughs> the concept of God, there's so much flaws. But once they're convinced on that, there will be no need to tell them why it's Ismail that was sacrificed and not Ishaq. Because they'll be, and that is the proper way of Dawah, and this is what our scholars teach us. Say that you know, don't get bogged down to arguing with the uh, non-Muslims about matters which are in their book. Rather, return them to a Tawheed, the concept of God, and make them you know understand that you know Christianity is not true. That's why. Uh, they're not coming to you. Hold on. Give who? Not giving the time of Ibrahim. who? Yes, he was his nephew. Lut was the nephew of Ibrahim alayhi salam. It was at the same time in another, in another place, in the moment of the life of the angels that came to Ibrahim. And they told him, we're going on our way to give you baptized like your wife to have a baby, etc. And we're going to loot, we're going to turn his comb upside down because of you know, what they were doing. And uh, he said, no, well, don't. he tried to argue with them, he did not argue, debate with them, die with them. let me go and give Dawa. Look at this, his worry, his fitness, his wanting of guidance for his people. But Allah had, when he's destined the matter, he's destined the matter. So anyway. Um, you said Ibrahim, uh, he's a one, uh, he's been, uh, was ordered to go to Palestine. I just wanted to know what for. Yeah, well, he, went, he was ordered to go to Palestine. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think he went to Mecca. We went to Mecca for. Then he was ordered to leave them in Mecca and go back to but Palestine. That's where his uh, where Sarah was. Because remember, they were from Babylon. Then they left Babylon. They went to uh, Palestine. That that area, Sham. That was the area where he lived. That's why. Yes. I don't know how true that is, but they say that uh, that's his footprint. He used this, this rock to stand on, to put the final bricks uh, on, on the Kaaba, and his footprint is there to this day. Although I don't know how authentic that is, but that's what they say. But the Maqam, that was his place, and uh, for, for centuries, the time of the Son, that we pray behind that, but authentically pray behind that. That's his footstep. Is that, is that really his footstep? Allah well, Alaihi do you know when, when he left his wife mm. and he found water? Yeah. Was it a spring that came out of the floor or was it a uh, zamzam I'm confused about? Yeah, that's what it was. It was a spring and the spring was the zamzam. Zam. The spring was just it was one zam spring zam. Was it One. Just which, one. Which is the story of the 12 springs? Then? That's the story of uh, uh, Isha. Who? Musa Musa is Salam. Yeah, in, in Surah Baqarah. Where every tribe had <coughs> knew their spring. So they all went to their spring and they drank from there. Different. He says, hit your hit the, hit the stone with your with your staff and twelve springs spent forth. We'll say it's an action. Was there someone there want to ask me a question? Did you believe in this? I wouldn't believe any of that, you know. 
because nobody really knows where he's buried, if he's buried, where he's buried. People like to say these things. People say they know where Dawid is buried as well. And uh, they want to make shrines over it and do acts of worship there. It's haram, you know? So that's what's behind all that. Nobody knows. Any other questions outside of the, the topic of what? Okay, so there's, there's a question in the system, I think. We'll call it David Salah, subhanAllah, and Hindi, 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 and Hindi